Okay guys, this is Robotron 2084 on my iArcade. Yes, the twin stick shooter you have been looking for. I have been looking for, that's right. Uh, it's been a while. I've been trying to get this up and running. And now it is, and that's thanks to the guys over at PAX RS Discord that have been packaging these deals up and getting us the advanced configuration files that we need and the one that I had uh, <clears throat> I couldn't get past the boot for the longest time and uh, even in, when people did you know you needed that configuration to do the twin stick like I said on the I arcade there was a thing they had to add to it uh, was like a save state to get you past that and uh, wasn't able to do it and I uh, wasn't finding the right file even on there to do it. Maybe I was doing something wrong. So I finally reached out on there in their chat section. You have to put things in the right places. And in the chat section, they said, we'll use this. And I'm like, well, I've tried in their packs to use the one that they had, and it wasn't working. And uh, Off-Grid had the same problem. And whatever, you know, it wasn't working. Uh, for the longest time but this is the twin stick uh, game that I had wanted for a long time now this is really nice because the file that I didn't I had didn't even have this nice artwork that you see here uh, on the title screen on the instruction screen which is next so when I hit the A button you'll see the instruction screen see nice artwork that they do with Photoshop and everything with the layout and they're showing you now here you know with your left stick you're moving with your right stick you're shooting and the way they set it up now they told me that all Williams games uh, need a file put in there uh, it's like an auto save to get you past that screen so now we finally have it this is Robotron and I'm probably gonna suck at it but listen I love this game I have this on my uh, Atari 5200 and I have the old original plastic thing uh, that you put both controllers in. And I have this game from my Atari 7800 and uh, from the uh, the Retro Boys. Uh, I'm probably saying the name wrong. I'm really tired right now. I bought their special game pad that is great for this. I have a video out there. It's out there somewhere. And uh, Mr. Postile's channel. They have a special special game pad just for this game for the 7800 and it works beautifully uh, with two thumbsticks for this game and it's just such a great game and as off could tell you he had this game back in the day he used to have the cabinet he said uh, I think in his dining room back in the day and and when he was even watching TV if there was a commercial they would play it they would play this game so he's really good at this game and uh, so whenever I finally got it up and running and I got the right pack from them and tried it, uh, again, Packs are us, Sideshow Bob, uh, all those guys over there that are working on this stuff and getting this stuff running. I'm sorry, forget other names, but uh, thank you. And uh, as soon as I got the right one working the other day, yesterday, as of this recording, I immediately uh, sent it to Off Grid Arcade and the config file and he got it running and he sent me a screenshot of his amazing score right off the bat. I mean as soon as I sent it to him he had to have uh, pushed it to his arcade like right then and there because it was like 20 minutes later he's showing me his high score on it and I haven't officially played it I tried it out to make sure it worked so this is the first time of me officially trying this game on my arcade and I'm gonna suck, but I don't care. I'm so happy to have this on. Smash TV I love, and I'm glad to have it too, although that's a game that I really love playing with another person because that's the way we did it in the arcade, and that's the way I did it on my Super Nintendo when I was a kid, a teenager. Uh, but you can't, you, you know, some things you can't have. And that's okay, at 50 years old, my player too was my son, and you know, he's, doing his own thing at 19 years old and almost 20 he's working and he's getting ready to go into the military he's not always here so 
And with an eye arcade, you only have two joysticks. We don't have four here for him to play with me anyway. So Smash TV, I play as a one-player person here. I'm okay with that. Robotron, one player, that's fine. I do have a Robotron shirt, but I'm not wearing it right now. I wanted to wear it for this video, but guess what? I have it at work. I left it at work as my clean shirt to wear after my shower, and I forgot it there. So that's neither here nor there. Let's play some Robotron 2084. What a beautiful game! Let's do it. Let's hit the A button here. We're going into it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. We're going to add a credit. Save the last human family. Well, we can't guarantee that. We're going to shoot wild. Are we going to save them? Maybe. Scumps. Cheers. Salute. Whatever else. A toast from me to you. Friday night before Christmas and I'm feeling all right. It's a Robotron. It's a Robotron 2084. Mikey. Mikey. Let's add another credit. For the hell of it. And we're going to start. We're going to save our human friends. We're going to shoot everybody else. It's working beautifully. If anything messes up, it's because I'm messed up, right? Oh, see, like that. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. No! Save Mikey. We didn't save Dad. You can see who we want to save. There's guys everywhere. I'm not gonna get anywhere near off-grid school. I ran into the dude. I was firing the wrong way. Dear Lord, game over. <laughs>
My name is Poe. My name is Poe. Po, 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 po. Yeah, I, I uh, dare any of you to try to beat off-grid score at this game. Just he gets to the top of that board without even trying. It's ridiculous. I, I hope he does a video on this game. I want to see it in action. Just amazing. Oh, this plays so well on here. Plays... No, I don't play so well on here, but this plays so well. Game over, man. That quick. I don't care. I'm happy to have this. <sighs> yeah. Of course, I had to start at the wrong end of the alphabet. That's why I am poo. No, don't run into the dude. Just trying to save people. It's my bad. Son of a bomb hole. No. Oh. Ag. No, I was saving her. I got up there, right? At least I got up to the top. I'm a Robotron hero. That's probably the best way, the best place to stop. Ooh! Knocked my whole head yeah, forward. Best place to stop Robotron. Do I want to play a bonus game of anything else here? Maybe. Maybe. Did I add anything else? Now this is Qbert that I added a while back, but I saw another Qbert they added with an advanced config. And I don't know if I officially played this on here. 
I don't know exactly what the advanced config did. Maybe it made the controls better. I don't think I, I never added an advanced config. Let me see how Qbert plays on here. Is it good? Is it bad? <clears throat> I don't know. Bart played it on here one day. No matter what, when you emulate Qbert, some of those cabinets had a little knocker at the bottom of it. So when it, <laughs> knockers, who doesn't love knockers? Uh, when Qbert fell, it sounded like he was hitting the bottom of the arcade cabinet. You're not going to get that in emulation unless you somehow build that in, right? Let's add some coins here and let's see. This is bonus game. Let's see how Qbert plays without the advanced config. And maybe I'll have to add that advanced config. Here comes Coily. Oh yeah, it doesn't play good at all because I died. Honestly, I don't, I don't really see a huge problem here. So I don't know what the config folder was for. File was for. What's this crap? That's right, Coily, you're an idiot. I, I haven't seen a real problem yet, so I, I'm not sure why somebody added an advanced config file. Uh, that was me there, that wasn't the game. Maybe they made it play a little better, I don't know. That's just a ripoff. So, I don't see a real problem with it. Will I overwrite it with an advanced config? Maybe. I don't know. Is there any reason to? How do I even enter my initials here? Okay. I've got to use my player one button. Mistake. I didn't mean to push that way. Maybe there is a difference. I don't know. I know with the Atari version they told you to hold your uh, controller diagonally. See, well, that, that's just bullcrap there. But that's just the game. That's the way it was. We haven't even got the schlick yet. mistake too. Game over, man. Game over. Okay. Well, that's it. I just wanted to see how it played. Maybe I will check into that other version they put up and see what the difference was. If there was a difference. 
pay. Poe is number two. That's it for now. Robotron is really what I want to highlight here. I got it. I got it. And uh, then there's a few other games that I threw on here that I thought were really cool. And uh, there are some games that play with my spinner now. And I do have Mr. Do's Wild Ride. I'm very happy about that. I request requested it and they made it. So that makes me very happy. Next to these wild ride is here. So the only thing we need is do run run as the last Mr. Do game that's needed on here. Uh, and we'll have them all. Whoops, and I already effed up. I already messed up. But that will be it. But it works great. Do run run would be great. I don't own that except for the homebrew that Collector Vision made for the Coleco Vision. And the other only other thing is Night Stalker is a trackball game that I had never ever played before, and uh, that was on the PAX RS. So I I put this on here, and I really enjoyed this for a trackball game. So I did send this one to Off Grid as well. And of course I sucked at it, but I mean, pretty cool trackball game. I was uh, enjoying this. So this is one that I'm going to check out some more. So maybe this will be featured in a future video. Uh, pretty slick. I, I never heard of this game before. So that's another cool thing about that Discord is, uh, you know, somebody posts a game that they packaged together and they put up and they took the time for this. Uh, I'll look them up and I'll watch some videos and stuff about these games. Let's see, you can go up and down. When I first played this, I didn't realize I was just staying on the ground, steering it like this. But yeah, you can definitely go up and down. Doesn't stop me from sucking at it, but I know this was supposed to be a Robotron video. I get carried away. I'm just loving this I arcade purchase more and more every day. Seriously. I'm liking this more than Space Harrier on here, actually. Space Harrier is one that I did buy for my arcade officially. Or it came with it, I don't remember which. I think I bought it. But, uh... Now this is where I died when I first tried this game out, too. And like Off Grid said to me, this reminds him of, uh... 
the Death Star trench run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, don't last long here. <laughs> I'm dead. And that's where I died when I was trying this game out. Okay, that's it. I was here to show you Robotron, but I wanted to show you a few other games that I put on here most recently. Just awesome. Just awesome. I can't say it enough. Just having a good old time with these games. And this arcade. And of course, Mousetrap. What a classic! Used to have Montezuma's Revenge. <sighs> These trackball games. The spinner games. Caliber 50 is a fun but very hard game. You're using the spinner and the joystick at once with the arcade version. And I did put Russian Attack or Green Beret on here as well. Uh, that, of course, is a quarter muncher, a very tough game. And Caliber 50 is tough, man. It's a fun game, but wow. If you're using that spinner, and I never played that in the arcade, or I arcade, in the, ar in the arcades, but I'm guessing that was like an Akari Warriors type of setup. I'm not sure. Uh, with a different style controller. But here we're trying to use the uh, spinner at the same time as we're using an eight-way joystick. And uh, that gets really tough. I mean, no big deal. You got unlimited quarters here, right? Unlimited coins. But it's a really tough game to get a handle on. But still fun. Really fun. And these guys have started making bezels for these too. I, I haven't got into that. I don't care for the bezels. Uh, it's not something that I need to add to these games. But uh, that's, they are doing that. So if you have one of these and you're interested, check out the Pax RS Discord. We'll add, a, we'll add a credit here. And I see that I must have bumped the cable again for my other camera. My hands are froze up here, but uh, that's been happening with my my other camera tonight. Though it is a fun game, but you're using the joystick at the same time as you're using a spinner right above it. So, taking out all these dudes <laughs> can be a challenge. But it is so much fun. My goodness. Got a grenade button and a fire button. Right? But at the same time, everybody's firing at you at once. trying to get centered on them. I'll just have them 
a great time. I never wanted to do really maim unless I was doing it what I thought was the right way. Didn't really. I did it, played around with it a little bit here and there, but I really didn't want to do it on a hack console or on PC too much. But now that I have a cabinet with spinners and a trackball, you know, eight way and four way gate control. And yeah, I do give up. Uh, this is just the way to do it as far as I'm concerned. Alright guys, hey, thanks for watching. I don't know if I'll have intros and wrap-ups to these videos. I'm just having fun here. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry about that. that tonight I'm having problems with this uh, controller, or the controller, my camera disconnecting here uh, that's focused on my hands, so it's just freezing up. We'll see what's going on. I just updated OBS. I don't know if it's my actual connection to OBS, my or to my camera, or if it's OBS itself. And I just did the update before I started these couple videos I made tonight. But anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, Chelsea, the baby.